Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome back to the Alice Illuminator. We will be checking on your messages. Now let's see what spirit has in store for you. This is going to be a freestyle reading. So whatever spirit wants to tell you. All right. So happy birthday to all my Aries out there. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed birthday and birthday month um happy spring as well to everyone so i hope you will have a lot of blessings love and health coming your way all right so let's see what is going on i do feel like you have some choices to make um there might be a lot of confusion in regards to a very deep connection that you are feeling or you're trying to figure out whether you are going to end up with this individual or, or if this if this connection is real or not that's what i'm picking up on but that could be just for some of you um, this is not to be intended only about love but whatever comes through okay whatever comes through you <laughs> whoa you got the ace of pentacles coming through the page of pentacles and the chariot so i do see you having some type of plan something for your future uh, something that you want to invest in and i do see you wanting to proceed forward this is some some type of spiritual calling that is coming towards you it is talking about planting some type of seed in your life that is about to grow financially spiritually as well as bring you a lot of abundance all right because whatever you've been planning here with the seven of pentacles as well a lot of pentacles cards for you coming up uh, it means that you've been thinking about it pondering about it really weighing up whether this is really what you want to do in your life and i feel like you may Maybe getting lucky in receiving a big amount of money to actually pursue your dreams or pursue your goals all right uh, it may have to do with you traveling for this particular job or for this particular idea and if that is the case spirit is showing you that the path on on your uh, journey is being cleared up from any type of blockages so if you did feel like there was some type of blockage that was holding you back now is going to be the time where all the blockages are being removed move and you're moving forward all right i feel like you're moving towards your north node i don't know why i'm getting the north node it could be that you have something playing up with the north node so you may want to check up on that so let's see oh the queen of pentacles whoa yo that's that's like a lot of abundance a lot of stable income coming your way you really taking care of yourselves taking care of your needs um career is really looking right up for you all right even if you felt like in the past it wasn't the case even though i'm not seeing that i do feel like you've been um, having a lot of progress a lot of success also in the past but right now you're going to feel a little bit more confident all right confident with this queen of pentacles energy coming through so financially career wise i feel like spirit is really showing you the right direction the right tools with the page of pentacles there might be a lot of new idea or new things that you are uh, researching you're really putting a lot of effort in it a lot of energy to understand something on a deeper level and that understanding is going to bring you a long lasting stability financial success all right let that be said i see a lot of success Woo! what the heck is this the tower in the heart of your reading that was unexpected so you know seeing all the positive cards around you and a six of swords. Okay, so for some of you, you're going to have like um immediate shift in your life where you're going to be heading a different direction. All right, this is going to come out of the blue. So it may mean that you're going to be traveling out of the blue. Um, I'm hearing Texas. I don't know why for some of you, Texas might be something that is of importance for you. But I do see like a sudden shift of your plans. And, and it's in a positive way because you're moving um, away from some type of chaotic situation as well. Perhaps some type of contract comes to an end, but you've already planted a seed. You've already started a new project and you're just like, well, that was that was perfectly planned. You know what I mean? Like that was perfectly in alignment. Um, it's just like starting up a channel and then like 
a month later your contract is over and then you're actually doing really well and you don't even need the job like that's the type of shift and movement that you can expect all right whatever this um, unexpected shift is or move that you're going to make it is going to bring you some type of um, peace of mind all right even though i do feel like you're going to be looking back as in like whoa i did leave certain people or certain situation quite in a mess behind me uh, and so you might be a little bit you know still a little bit attached to like okay are these people going to survive without me that type of energy so maybe that's about your colleagues or something or you know they're going through some type of mess at the work sit you know in a work situation Anyway, I'm not sure why this is all talking about work. I mean, like pentacles are all about the mundane level. So I do feel like practically there are a lot of changes that you're going to make, which is going to bring you a lot of satisfaction. It's going to bring you long lasting stability and abundance. you got the temperance card together with the lover's card. All right. These are really beautiful energies coming through. This is saying that you're going to find your balance whenever you remove yourself from something that is not working in your life. All right. With the tower in the heart of your reading, it could also mean that your heart is going through an awakening, that you're seeing things for what it is. And you're seeing actually in this case, your own self-worth and your own self value. And because of that, you're making the abrupt changes in your life to remove yourself and go towards a more peaceful environment in your life all right um, it might also mean that you're going through a deep intense healing I do still see you see with the lover's card that you're going to be reconciling a very deep bond in your life a very, very deep relationship in your life and I feel like you've been very patient with that you may have um, Sagittarius in your chart or the person that you're dealing with I also have Gemini here Scorpio Pisces Cancer, I'm sorry, no Pisces, but hey, if that wanted to come through, it might be for a reason, right? And then we have the Five of Pentacles. Hmm, I do want to clarify that Five of Pentacles because I do feel like you will have to leave certain people behind that are going to feel a little bit disappointed, that are going to feel a little bit left out, as in, like, okay. Um, you did not choose them you left them for something else or for someone else so there is definitely someone that is going to be feeling quite neglected by your choice by your decision all right so maybe these are friends maybe these are people that you used to hang out with um, people that are actually paving a new path in their life and you may feel like you're not in alignment with their path so you're choosing a different direction in your life all right um, so I am going to clarify this. What is this five of pentacles? Who is feeling left out in a cold for you leaving them? The nine of swords. See, someone is really stressed out for the decisions that you are making. All right. But whatever the decision is that you're making is actually bringing you in balance, but it does feel like it's bringing someone else in some type of jeopardy uh, so maybe it's a financial loss maybe you were sharing sharing I don't know what you were sharing but maybe you were sharing a house and you're just like hey I'm going to move in with my new lover and I'm sorry but you have to leave and it's like what how can you do that to me so maybe it's not that particular but for some of you it might be but I do feel like you, in order for you to be with the right person or with the right uh, circumstances you may have to cut someone off or leave someone behind that does feel like you are um, bringing, in, bringing them a lot of stress in regards to their own safety all right so i do see someone definitely stressed out see the four wands this may have to do with some type of living situation maybe you were living together with someone that person is like or you're you're like i'm sorry but i need to i'm going to move away and i can't 
pay along with you anymore and that person feels like but hey i i don't have the money to pay this rent right like that's the type of energy that i'm getting again the, the situation could be a little bit different on your side i'm just giving you an example of what i feel like this situation is talking about and then the ten of wands see exactly you're giving someone a little bit more to handle um a little bit more on their plate than they can handle this is a stressful situation for them or you may have felt for the long, longest haul that this living situation is a little bit stressful, uh, perhaps with your landlord, there is a lot that's going on there. Whew. Let's see, mm, what do I want to clarify? Let's, um, let's clarify with these. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're making a very smart move here, right? The fox is coming through with the lily. So I do feel like you are making a very smart move in regards to your, um, to your path. However, I do feel like that some people may feel like you are being manipulative, all right? That's, that's something that I'm putting out there. Or you may have felt like someone was manipulating you and you have already made up a second plan or plan B and you're coming out of it a little bit more smarter and stronger than the other person. And that's why the other person is feeling like, oh shoot, what next? What now? Uh, Scient is here as well talking about cutting something off that is no longer serving you. Uh, let's see actually about your love situation what is coming in for you in love oh queen of pentacles twice see you and this person are definitely on the same page or will be on the same page both of you are really caring towards one another really practical in a sense really showing each other uh, tenderness is what i'm hearing or affection um, putting in a lot of hard work working together two divine feminine type of energies. So I do have a lot of feminine type of energies here. So that means that both of you are very receptive, compassionate, helpful, caring, um, you know, very graceful to one another. See, look at that six of cups. So you're definitely coming into some type of a deep reconciliation with someone. And I do feel like a lot of things from the past are being solved here. At, at, I mean, like, come on. I said this before we even draw any card. And here we have again, the sun coming through with the six of cups. I feel like you're going to be so happy. Like this person is someone that is quite, um, how do I say that? Innocent. There is a lot of innocent love here, all right? And I feel like you both are definitely on the same page, having the same goals, frequency. There is a new start, so if you felt like things were not moving forward, the new start is coming for you. I mean, like, whoa, three of cups here at the bottom of the deck as well. This is most definitely talking about a deep reconciliation that is coming your way. Let's see, I wanted to have another deck. Where is that deck? Oh, here. Let's pick a moon card for you. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful month for you, Aries. I mean, come on. This is amazing. So many, so much abundance coming your way. Happiness, joy, and making the right decisions, right? Like sometimes we make decisions and we're like, ah, should have tweaked that or did that better. No, this time around, you're very witty with that fox. You've already made up another plan for yourself. You're like, well, if that fails, then I still have like a plan B. And that plan B is going to bring you so much more abundance and fulfillment. What do you need to release? So there is probably someone that you need to release that is kind of like nagging on your energy or trying to make you feel bad for leaving them behind and spirit is like nope that's not on you okay um, they need to deal with their own dilemmas on their own and that's not going to be your call so this is definitely a time for you to release any type of fears in regards to your future um, and also release anything or anyone that is not allowing you to change all right Karma releasing, holy. Move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good change. I mean, like, what? This is talking about that, the whole reading. I mean, I cannot even believe. Make, create your own path. I mean, what? 
sorry I, I just always get shocked like whenever I pull like the extra oracle cards I'm just like what <laughs> that's just crazy take care of your own needs see again you gotta make the choices and decisions for yourself and take care of your own needs because especially because you're an Aries people might be well you're selfish or you're this no 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 no, no. I gotta take care of my own needs and you gotta take care of your needs so you're releasing any type of past trauma or karma for some of you it could be trauma trauma related to this individual but that's going to be up on you trader exchange energy and to create abundance so i do feel like this is with your person you're going to work together exchange a lot of energy ideas um, you know help each other support each other there is definitely a very strong supportive team around you as well in spirit guys but also in the people in your surroundings so the more that you do for them the more you will receive as well so keep on changing uh, exchanging your energy good lighted energy as well as have an open heart and i do feel like you're already doing that because the queen of pentacles is that type of energy right so i love that uh let's see one more advice for you then we taking it on to the extended for those who resonate with this reading and we go a little bit deeper self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth goddess of compassion so this is not a time for you to question your value your self-worth or criticize yourself or allow anyone to criticize you all right this is the time for you to stay independent to stay um, with both your feet on the ground and be confident all right and don't question yourself too much you're moving into the right direction all right and you've got the angel of union at the bottom of the deck a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness and that's what i'm seeing here with two of the queen of pentacles coming through could be both females as well all right but that's going to be your choice so thank you so much Aries if you stick to the end make sure to drop a like for me and share your comment about this reading and about your situation obviously and if you are um, interested in the extended we'll go very deep you'll you'll see the um, extended in the link below so thank you so much and I'll catch you soon bye